Twilight people, people, everyone. Hi, I'm Larry, Larry Talbot, owner of Monster Movie App. I'm going to start introducing myself. Isn't that great? Today we're here to uh, review a tasty release from VCI Entertainment, I believe. Well, these are, these are actually VCI Elite releases, uh, Blu-ray and DVD release of Twilight People. Now, um, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to do the uh, past releases, and then we're going to go through the physical release itself, this thing, um, the special features, the transfer, and at the end of all that, I'm going to tell you whether you should upgrade if you already own the DVD, or uh, if you should just buy it outright if you don't own anything. Won't it be fun? A little summary at the beginning for everyone. So, uh, quickly, the only other release of this was uh, in 2000, and it was also VCI who released it on DVD. Um, no special features, bare bones, nothing release. Uh, and then, they've had it, VCI's had it forever. The VHS! Yes, that's right. I'm showing you a VHS. Um, it's so funny because I was in the middle of watching this VHS when uh, this came in the mail. And I stopped watching this because, you know, I, I was going to have to watch it again. And uh, so I just stopped. So uh, actually when I, when I went to fucking take a look at this, I, uh, I finished the movie too. It was nice. But, uh, you know, I, I, love the, I love the VHS. There's, uh, there's some sexy VHS. Inter, look up Interglobal Twilight People. Um, well, it'll come back to us. Hello, somebody that just came and left. Thank you for your support. So, uh, nothing really to compete with this other than another a DVD. Uh, this is DVD and Blu-ray. I might as well get right to the sexiness of it. You got the, uh, this is the Blu-ray. Little, little effort went into that, you know. Better than just a silver disc. And that's the DVD. With, uh, you know, shots from the movie. But this also has... And we're coming back to the Interglobal VHS right now, everyone. Reversible artwork. And this is the cover of the Interglobal VHS. Um, that I was saying was so sexy. Either way, this artwork is awesome. I mean, it's, that's a tough one, really. This is, uh, this is the artwork from their DVD. Um, I don't know if it was the original, I don't know which one is the original movie poster. I'm guessing this one. That looks more like a 70s. I think it's 70s. 72. That looks more like a 70s movie poster. But uh, I'm not really sure. I should have looked it up. Hey! It's Rob Bob. Bobbert, if you will. Uncle Bob Bob Bobbert. Robert. Hi, Bob. Um... Yeah, so uh, Twilight People. I'm going to give a little close-up of uh, Pam Greer's cleavage since Bob Bob stopped by. Just finish quick, Bob. Finish, that, finish off quick. It's a little out of focus, but you can see. You can see it right there. Hi, Shane. Welcome aboard. So, I mean, right away, reversible art. I don't know... I don't know which one. This one's got Pam Greer's fucking cleavage. This one's like 70s sexy. I don't know which one I would pick. They're all better than the VHS. <laughs> A little damage there. But uh, yeah, they're better than that. Like, great. So far, we're batting 1,000. I, like I like the little screenshots on the desk. Um, so let's get to the special features, shall we? And Bob ejaculated everyone, just so you know. Shane, Bob ejaculated. Uh, I think you didn't I think you missed the part where he was masturbating to Pam Greer's cleavage right there. Um I, I got you up to speed now. So uh special features, you know 
VCI is really not known for their special features or their Blu-rays. They're branching out, everyone. But uh, they threw some on here that, um, you know, I think are new. But one is a, a, an interview with the director, Eddie Romero. Uh, it's like an hour long. Uh, but, like, it's really old footage. So I can't, I don't know where it came from. But <laughs> Bob's ejaculating on boobies now. Good. Good. Now we're now we got a fucking review. Awesome. Um, so I'm not sure where the Eddie Romero interview came from. Uh, it's not on the DVD that I found. Um, Laserdisc. I mean, it looks really old, like it was filmed like with the VCR camera or something. Uh, but it's an hour long. I don't think it's been on digital. I'm going out on a limb. It hasn't been on digital. Um, maybe. And, uh, it's, did I say it's an hour long? So, I mean, that's like a pretty good special feature. He tells a lot of cool stories about, uh, you know, making the film and other stuff. Uh, he's an old timer. Uh, you know, this, this film was a Philippine, Filipino joint. Uh, they did that a lot in the seventies, the Filipino horror movies. Um, they could go there and make them cheap. Everyone spoke English. Uh, they loved Americans because, you know, like, we saved them from the Japanese in World War II. So um, I think, he, like, the hookers would discount. So, like, filmmakers went there a lot in the 70s to make movies. Um, they're cool. You know, they're usually kind of bad. But, like, you know, this is a better one, actually. This isn't, a, this isn't bad. If you don't know, this is just a fucking riff or rip of the island of Dr. Monroe. So, uh, H.G. Wells' story, um, it's been covered a lot. They don't give the dude credit, so, like, I would say rip over riff, <laughs> but it's pretty much the same fucking story. Um, so we have that. We have the, uh, an hour-long interview. I'll say it again, Bob. An hour-long interview with Eddie Romero, the director. I think he might have been the, no, he wasn't the writer. And then there's commentary for the whole film. Uh, film historian, this is definitely new. Film historian David uh, DeVale and uh, director is um, David DeCoto. He is a director and film historian. Eddie Romero, is he Cuban? You know, George was... He was trying to hide it, but we figured it out. <laughs> you know, maybe. He's, he definitely has an accent of some sort. I don't know. I don't know if it was Cuban accent, though, or Spanish. Seems like Italian, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he was from Spain or something. A um, little accent there. So maybe. Look it up, Bob. Uh, so, like, yeah, this commentary by two film historians... Um, it's, you know, it's better than most film historian commentaries. Um, they do go off a lot. Like, you know, right, instead of talking about the film mostly, they're just like talking about the history of uh, filmmaking in the Philippines and fucking on and on and on about, you know, this actress, this Filipino actress, or like this, you know, like they're just going off about other things that aren't related to the film. But, you know, it's pretty interesting. I have to say, it was pretty interesting. Just don't get any da of David DeCoto's fucking movies, because they're terrible. But uh, isn't that always the way? The guys that know the most about movies make the worst films. It's a fact. It's very rarely not true. So, uh, that's it. Special features. Commentary, and I'll say it again, Bob. Eddie Romero, that Cuban motherfucker... His interview, hour long. So, you know, that's pretty good for VCI as far as special features go. That's a lot for them. That's a lot. Now, uh, let's get to the transfer. Not great. <laughs> I have to admit, it's not great. Um, it looks to me like, you know, a film that wasn't remastered, but, uh, or, re no, I'm sorry, it wasn't restored but it was remastered in high def. Um, there's a lot of issues with the transfer. There's uh, some flea bites. 
scratches, um, you know, like little, the little, little fucking dicks. What? Why did I say dicks? Like the little divots in the film, little white spots, little scratches. They're scratches. I call them flea bites. Um, you know, th- not a lot here and there. Uh, it looks like they cleaned up probably most of them. Uh, it's right at the beginning, there's a, some weird yellow spots on an underwater uh, fish scene that they're filming. I don't know what the fuck that is. They're almost like cube shaped. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's on the DVD and the Blu-ray. I think they. I think they just did. They did both. So like the DVD is also remastered, but not restored. So like it's identical except for in a lower resolution. I checked. I checked. Um, more serious issues. It's waxy. You know, like it's filtered. You can tell when they don't. They don't go through and actually like restore scene by scene. They just put a. They just lay a filter over it to get rid of the film grain. And um, I have dick on the brain. Some would say I'm a dickhead. So it's you know it goes along. Um, so it's like waxy. Uh, lo- lots of scenes are oversaturated. People look a little orangey even. Um, very hazy. There's a haziness about it also that goes into the filter, the um, like the softening filter. There's uh, like too, it's too too much contrast. It's kind of washed out looking. Um, it's not great. It's not a great transfer or remaster or whatever they did to it. Um, it's not very well done. There's uh, auroras. I call them auroras. There's probably a technical term. But, uh, you know, we're flying. We're flying by the seat of our pants here at Monster Movie App. And uh, I call them auroras. Like the aurora lights, everyone. But they're just kind of white. And they kind of like, you know, float across the screen. It's like they're fucking moving. Uh, Just white discolorations that flow across the screen. There's lots of those. Um, Also not good. Uh, I said contrast issues. It's too it's too washed out looking. Um, that's it. That's all I got. The audio was okay. It wasn't bad. Um, so that's everything. It's going to be a short one. Uh, would I upgrade if I have the DVD? I don't know what their DVD transfer looked like. Uh, I'm assuming it was worse than the DVD on this sexy honey. That one, I'm sure it's it's got probably worse than that. Because it says, like, it was remastered in the DVD version. It says it was re- also remastered 2018. So I'm assuming it's a different transfer. I'm assuming that it's better. Um, I mean, some of these Filipino, you get, like, the public domain collections of some of the old Filipino 70s movies. And, like, you can't even see what the fuck is going on. They're dark and fucking grainy. And you just, like... You can barely watch some of them. So I'm assuming that they're fucking... Although the VHS was tasty, I was watching the VHS. I had no problems. I was able to follow everything. I don't know. I don't know. What I can tell you is I would upgrade. If I owned the DVD, I would upgrade to this version um, just for the... um, the interview and the commentary and the sexy packaging, but uh, not necessarily the transfer. I can't tell you because I don't have the I don't have their DVD. Uh, would I upgrade from uh, Would I upgrade from the VHS? That's you know you're asking the wrong fucking guy. Bobbert Rob Uncle Bob Ba says, Why would they ever want to get rid of film grain? I know, I know. You look up. Have you looked into the Agfa um, distributor yet? Those guys are fucking awesome. You really. I mean, they're not putting out the best movies, but like, I love their style. They're just like, we're gonna, we're just gonna fucking color correct this so it looks good, but like, we're leaving all the grain, man. We want it to look like you're in a fucking grindhouse theater watching this for the first time, and it does. It looks fucking cool. So uh, you should check out Agfa. It's short for something. Um, Agva, 
A-G-F-A. Um, something Film Association, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, back on track. Bob and I can talk for fucking hours about fucking movies. Like, nonstop until fucking three in the morning. Easy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I would upgrade from the DVD. I'm not saying anything about the, uh, the VHS, because I love VHS so much. Um, would I, would I buy it? Yes. Yes, I would buy it. But there is disclaimers. I don't think you're likely to see a better copy of this for a long, long time. Because VCI has been holding on to this motherfucker for years. That's the old VCI logo backwards for you. Um, I don't think it's going anywhere. They got it. They're keeping it. Uh, if you want to see this movie and own it, the best option out there right now is their Blu-ray. So I'm going to say, yes, I would buy it outright if I didn't own the movie. But disclaimer, disclaimer, uh, it's only because you're not going to find another copy that's better. And um, you're not likely to see another copy in your fucking lifetime. Because VCI is not selling that shit. Unless they go out of business. And like, you know, somebody decides to find... Or, or they maybe they find like the film negative And they decide to do a fucking top to bottom restoration. I'm not holding my breath. So I would just get the Blu-ray. And deal with some of the fucking anomalies. I mean, is it a watchable copy? Fuck yes. I mean, I'm nitpicking. I have to. The fucking, the, the cinephile fucking nerds will come after me if I don't fucking point out the, the shortcomings. But I'm nitpicking. It's, it's a very watchable copy. And uh, I'll give it two thumbs up with a little disclaimer or a little starfish butthole next to it saying that the transfer's got some serious issues, but it's very watchable. Let's see what Robert says. Hey, man, I have the 20 Grindhouse box set. And it has some movies from the Philippines. It's almost impossible to watch. Yes. See? <laughs> Just what I was saying. Those movies like uh, The Yellow Beast something. That one, that's a fucking, like a really big Filipino one that they put on those box sets all the time. Um, yeah, it's like almost unwatchable. But, uh, you know, this isn't. This is very watchable. And, uh, you know, get it. Get it already. I want to thank VCI for uh, sending that over, even though it wasn't the most stellar review. Love you guys long time. I've been a fan forever, and I have your VHS, so you can't give me shit. I have a whole collection of your VHS and DVDs and Blu-rays, like a lot of them, tons. So that's it, everyone. Until tomorrow at 2, where I will be doing... Another weekly horror movie finds. I found some electronic device, Bob, that we're going to be testing. And uh, it's sexy. It's super sexy. And I hope it works. So come back tomorrow at 2. We'll find out. Thanks for stopping by, Uncle Bob Robert. And I will see you later. Get the fuck out of my house now. Bye.